In this video, we're going to do some review of aspect. This chart summarizes some of what we know, that imperfective and perfective take the same forms in the past tense. You take the infinitive ending off the verb and add your el, la, lo, li, depending on the gender. When you conjugate an imperfective verb, it's in the present tense. But when you conjugate a perfective verb, it's in the future. And perfective verbs cannot exist in the present tense. That does make some sense, right? Because something in the present is ongoing. It's a process. It's not completed. Future tense, we have two ways to do the future. For imperfective verbs, we use budu, budes, budet, plus the infinitive. Whereas perfective verbs, we conjugate them, and they're in the future tense. Remember that we have some adverbs that show us whether we need imperfective or perfective. These imperfective ones, most of the time they will emphasize some kind of repeated action or some kind of long process. So, každý den, vsegda, časta, regularna, obyčna, inagda, rietka, dolga, vistien, or something else with vis, or something else with každý, for example. And for the most part, these are 100%. If you see these adverbs, you need imperfective because inherently it implies, it implies repetition. The perfective ones are fewer and they're not as clear. However, you might see vdruk, srazu, and nakanets as showing perfective because suddenly, immediately, finally, these are things that tend to be something that's a one time action. Remember that we use the perfective with completion with results. So, for example, Anna prečita le pismo i tipir vsi opinimajet. She read the letter and now she understands everything. There's some kind of result. Some kind of achievement of result. Like, Ja vsi utro vspominal jevo imja i na konjec vspomnjal. All morning I was trying to remember his name. And finally I remembered it. Actions in sequence. Like, on vstal i predlžil tost. First he stood up. And then he gave a toast. Actions completed in a specific amount of time. We haven't talked about this much, but on prichita roman zanidelio. How long did it take for him to complete that action? Actions of limited duration, like on nimnoga paspal. Instantaneous actions, like ana kriknula. She screamed. That's something that just happened in an instant. There's no long process to it. Or sometimes when we talk about when something begins, the starting point of something. Ana prečitala pismo i zasmijalis. She read the letter and started laughing. Imperfective uses, we of course use imperfective when the action is in progress. Mu dolga žili v Moskvije. In that instance, the action was in progress. When there are two actions going on at the same time, like mama gotovil abed i slušala radio. But you can also have an imperfective verb that gets interrupted by a perfective, like this one. Suddenly they interrupted my reading when they knocked on the door. Repeated actions are, of course, imperfective. On after called doma. Annulled actions can be imperfective, like In this instance, you open the door and then you closed it again, or someone closed it. That action of opening the door has been annulled. And then also, we haven't talked about this much, but denial of intent, like, I didn't even know that I was supposed to expect your letter, whereas if I expected it, I probably would have used perfective. Try these three sets for ongoing or limited duration. Мы посидели немного, отдохнули и пошли дальше. We did this for a little while. Limited duration. So perfective. Versus она была больна и всю неделю сидела дома. This is a long process. Я поработал полчаса и лег спать. This is, could, could be doing something for a short period or it could be a series of events. First I worked a little bit for half an hour and then I... Um, lay down to sleep. 
versus on this vecher работал на компьютере. That's a long process. Я долго думал об этом. Наконец я принял решение. Принял решение. Студент подумал минутку и ответил на вопрос профессора. I was thinking about that for a long time. Then finally I, I made a decision. Versus student подумал минутку. The student thought for a minute and then answered the question of the professor. Try these sets for action in progress or the beginning of an action. Мы спокойно гуляли в парке, когда вдруг услышали крик. We were walking and then suddenly we heard a, a scream. That's something that you do in an instant. So it's, it's perfective. Когда мы сидели на скамейке, мы слышали, как дети играли. Когда мы сидели на скамейке, мы слышали, как дети играли. This is a long process. We were sitting there, we were listening, hearing, and they were playing. Когда девочка узнала о смерти бабушки, она заплакала. When she heard about the death, she started crying. Versus, девочка плакала весь день. In this case, we're talking about her crying all day for a long period of time. Try repeated action or one-time action. Он вчера встал поздно в 10 часов. This is one time. That's, we're just talking about what he did yesterday. Летом он всегда вставал рано в 7 часов. But in the summertime, he used to always get up early. So that's repeated action, imperfective. Сегодня мы получили письмо от наших друзей. This one time, today, we got this one letter. Versus, раньше мы получали письма от них раз в месяц. That's something we used to do often. Try these three sets for action and progress. Will be repeated or will be a one-time completed action. Сегодня я прочитаю твою книгу и отдам ее тебе. I will finish reading it and then give it to you. This is kind of a series of events and I will complete this action. Versus, когда я буду в Испании, я буду читать испанские газеты. This is a plan of something that I will do regularly. Imperfective. Он сказал, что будет писать нам часто. Of course, часто gives it away. He will be writing to us often. Он сказал, что напишет письмо и сразу пошлет. He will write this one letter and then send it immediately. Сегодня на уроке мы сделаем все упражнения. Today uh, in class we will finish all of the exercises. I think we could have будем делать here. Сегодня на уроке мы будем делать все упражнения. In that instance though we would be focusing on um, working some on all of them, not necessarily finishing them. Я не знаю, что мы будем делать сегодня на уроке. I don't know what we will be doing today in class in general. Probably we could have сделаем. Я не знаю, что мы сделаем сегодня на уроке. But then the meaning is quite different. I don't know what we will finish. Try choosing the right verb in each sentence. Это очень длинный роман. Я буду читать его три дня. This is talking about how long I will be in process of reading. Мы вам сразу расскажем о Москве, как только вернемся в Калифорнию. We will immediately tell you about Moscow right when we return. Here we're talking about the result of things, not the process. Она нашла новую работу недалеко от нашей квартиры. Теперь она будет заходить к нам часто. This is a plan she has that she will be stopping by our place quite often. So, of course, imperfective. Alex сказал, что у него болит голова и что он примет аспирин. It sounds like this is just this one time that his head is hurting. He's not necessarily planning to take the aspirin many times. Я узнала, что у меня диабет. Теперь я больше не буду есть сахара. 
I will not be eating it at all. I, it, this is a kind of a regular plan, right? Something regular, so imperfective. Олег долго писал письмо. И наконец он его написал, и мы вместе пошли на почту. He was writing it for a long time, and then finally he finished writing it. Вчера Анна не прочитала материалы в учебнике, которые ей задала преподавательница. Uh, here it sounds like Anna was expected to do this, but she didn't finish it. And of course, we're talking about this one time that her teacher gave her things to do. I think we could have вчера Anna не читала материалы, but that would sound like she had never had any intention of doing it. If Anna is at all a good student, then probably she had the intention of finishing her homework. Mikhail смотрел телевизор, когда Anna готовила обед. These are two things happening at the same time. So we have imperfective. Boris Nikolaevich выходил из квартиры, когда он вдруг увидел своего старого друга. He was in the process of coming out of his apartment when suddenly he saw his old friend. So here's an instance of an imperfective verb interrupted by a perfective. Misha решил стать вегетарианцем и перестал есть мясо. Misha decided to become a vegetarian and stopped eating meat. Both of those things were instantaneous decisions or instantaneous actions. They weren't some kind of long process, or at least we're not talking about the long process. Maybe it took Misha a long time to decide. In that case, we might say something like, Misha dolga rishal stats vegetarianism ilinient. But in this sentence, we're talking more about the result of his decision, not the process.